Riding an LRT, MRT, and PNR is never easy to all of the Filipino commuters. Gan, tapos ano? Tasa tasa pa masay, wala naman ng yari sa ano LRT at MRT. Kawawa mga ano? Kawawa mga tao? Wala namang ano? Ila nung mahirap pa. Some said that the service has worsened. Ano? Para mas limited na yung volume ng tao ng pwedeng sumakay tapos patay pa aircon nila. But others believe that some improvements are being made. Okay, mabilis ang biyahe ko. Well, some are frustrated in the slow improvements, but others are more understanding. Okay lang sa kanya na nagtaas din siya. Kasi sooner, siguro, darating yung agad yung improvements, pero hindi ganun ka agad-agad. Some said it's uncomfortable. Others said that the fund given by the past government wasn't enough to sustain the LRT, MRT, and PNR. Transport authorities ask for the public understanding to the improvements for the rail transport, which is on its way. Some said that the money wasn't used for the improvement, but the improvements, big or small, need more than a year to fix. For LRT, that goes into their coffers. No? Since it's a GOCC, that will remain with them. They could imme immediately implement, plan that out, and uh, execute. For MRT3, it's a more complicated uh, way because uh, by the agreement, it goes into an escrow account. The law dictates that the government expenditures will have to go through several layers of approval. Duterte said that from the current 16 trains to 20 trains, you increase the train speed from 40 to 60. The operating hours shall be extended from 9:30 to 10:30 p.m. So, marami pa mga bata ang uwi niyan, and to absorb more passengers. Delays in the procurement of additional trains shall be addressed soonest. Duterte said that the operating hours of the light rail transit or LRT will be extended by one hour at night up to 10 p.m. in the evening. The president also said that he would move general aviation to Sangli Point to help the congest Manila. Yeah. Senator Ralph Recto said the third pledge to make more trains run on time and lay more railroad tracks will definitely require money. For 2016, the total rail sector funding in the national budget is 12 billion pesos, with MRT and LRT allotted for the amount of 9.4 billion when 2.6 billion has been allotted to PNR. A recent commission and audit report, however, has reprimanded DOTC for failing to obligate 33.45 billion pesos. In several news, the illegal derailing of railways, a very long ticket queue, and several defective train tracks that are discarded are some of the problems in the Philippine public rail transport like the LRC, MRT, and PNR that are repeatedly happening over the time. In the midst of the Duterte's administration, these problems encountered will be solved little by little. In that matter, Filipino passengers will experience the convenience and efficiency of LRT, MRT, and PNR.